Come and say hello. <laughs> hello everyone. I've been trying to put this off for way too long. Not even trying, I've successfully put this off for way too long. You guys will see as I go through my stuff. Honestly, Archie, can you hear him snoring? Hello, I'm talking about you. Honestly, I'm that girl that I just have like so many things in my wardrobe that I know 100% I will never ever wear. That I will convince myself that in a year or so I might need a piece of clothing for when I dress up as something for Halloween or for fancy dress. And it's just like, come on, hun. Like, that's when you know. I need to be brutal today. And I just feel like doing this with you guys on camera even though you're not here and then now you know i just think it'll make me be a little bit more brutal with it um because i just know that you guys will be like what are you doing if i'm not right now i have a room downstairs that i do lots of like my photos in and things and i also have a lot of clothes in there and it's because they do not fit in here because i've got so much stuff like honestly this is all completely full and I have like lots of clothes here, like a box here and then a huge pile that I need to fit in here somewhere. I think what I'm going to do is have a pile for Depop, so things that I want to sell that are still in good condition um, or like clothes to brand new. And then I'm also going to have a pile for charity stuff. Let's get into it because I just waffle for way too long. I really hope you enjoy the video Um, yeah I just I, mm, let's see how this goes shall we <laughs> so this is where I keep all my clothes obviously Um, I do have these drawers so I have like underwear in here and um, these two I've got like joggers in here Um, I'm trying to remember tops like casual tops I guess that you wouldn't need to hang up and um, what's in this one like shorts and skirts and then pajamas are in these ones so all of these ones are okay i'm not going to touch them because i've done that quite recently um but these i definitely do need to go through trousers are in this one and then in this one guys honestly i can't even put this into a category obviously it's things that need to be hung up but <laughs> i honestly haven't got anything out of this part of my wardrobe in a very long time and that is not okay so that needs to be sorted out for sure this was an old prom dress um that i then decided that i didn't even want to wear to prom so i didn't even wear it to prom so i've never worn it i'm a shambles let's go <laughs> we are gonna start with jumpers i just feel like jumpers will be a fun one to do There's a lot. <laughs> I mean, already, straight off, not a bit of me anymore. I don't really know when it was a bit of me, but it must have been. Actually, it is from Next, so you'll see with quite a lot of my clothes, I have quite a lot of things from Next, and it's because I used to work there, so you had to wear their stuff. I mean, maybe, I don't know, if you were cool, I reckon you could rock this, um, but it's just not my vibe anymore. So, I reckon charity shop for this. Um, because I do really think that someone out there would get joy from that jumper. This is a Primark one that I got last year. I love this, so I am going to keep that. I should actually mention that I have a couple of onesies um, in the bottom of this that I just know that I want to keep. Because you never know. I mean, this is me saying this again. I did say I always think this, but you never know. At one point I'm going to have a onesie party or a onesie zoom if we go back into lockdown or do you know what I mean? You need a onesie and on Christmas day when you get up and you're doing your presents in the morning you need to have a onesie on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep a onesie, you never know when you might need one. This jumper looks like it needs a bit of a wash. I think maybe just because it's been sat in my wardrobe for like a year now, be dust and things. But yeah, I like this, it's just nice cream jumper so yeah definitely keeping this one it just needs a wash i think a bit of a freshen up this is another primark jumper that i did a haul did a haul put in a haul last year love it it says you've got this on the front you've got this i just love that and you know it's not the most stylish ever but when you just want to chuck on a nice jumper 
I love this one. I'm so excited for my wardrobe to be things that I actually love and wear because that hasn't been the case in honestly years. Here we have a new look one. Honestly just thought it was so cool at the time like with the leopard print around the collar. <laughs> I just thought like when I got this, I, it must have been like six, seven, eight years ago now. Yeah, I just thought it was really cool. It's not framing me anymore. So sure somebody will love that. This is just a really plain one. Um, really plain, thin, peachy coloured. But I just don't think I'll wear it. I really don't and I do need to be brutal. I just don't think I'm going to wear this. And guys, please don't hate me. Honestly, I'm going to be getting like getting rid of a lot of stuff here but i have not done a wardrobe clear out in years please don't hate me this is long overdue <laughs> another next one honestly there's not that many next things okay i promise it's a turtleneck which nothing against tur turtlenecks i do actually like a turtleneck but i think it's the stripes if it was all black i wouldn't actually mind it but it's just not really i don't think i'd wear it i don't think i'll wear it here we have my high school leavers hoodie you can't get rid of this i honestly think i'll still have this or i hope i still have this when i am elderly with grandkids and yeah i hope i can still rock it then still wearing it i do love this one um just to wear to the gym not to like to the gym not in the gym or if i go on a walk shazza on the back charlotte shazza lottie <laughs> they all kind of go together um yeah, Shazza was my nickname at school, so. Do you like that I picked pink? Because obviously I picked pink, because who wouldn't pick pink? So this is like a really different colour for me, not gonna lie. I haven't really worn it much either, but I do actually really like it and I need to wear it more. Um, it's really nice quality, feels really nice. Christmas jumper! This is actually also from Next. I do actually like this. I mean, do I? It's not the nicest Christmas jumper ever, is it? But I love the colour of it. And actually, guys, come on. Christmas jumpers don't have to be nice, do they? Sometimes the tackier, the wackier, the funkier, the better. So actually, I'm going to keep this. It is kind of an itchy material, though. Like that kind of wool. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, Christmas is worth feeling itchy. <laughs> Sparkly. Rudolph. It's cute. It's Christmassy. What more do you want? Okay, let's speed this up a bit, otherwise this video is going to be so long. Quite a ca classic turtleneck woolen jumper. It's cute. Oh my god. This jumper is so old, I can't even tell you. Like, it must be over 10 years old. I used to wear this with, like, leggings and boots. This isn't really um, my vibe anymore. Mm, nah. Super dry hoodie zippy zippy hoodie i got my wear out of it it's very old again i used to love this jumper um i don't know if it's very me anymore but it's not awful is it maybe like layered under something it's quite tight though i do kind of prefer nowadays quite an oversized um baggier jumper but i do think i'm gonna keep it or is that will i wear it yeah, you know what? I'm looking at myself, holding up against myself in the mirror, and I actually do think I'll wear this. I feel it looks better in the mirror than it does on the camera. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep you. Going to give you a chance. I won't wear this, will I? Let's be honest. I'm not going to wear this. I just won't, Charlotte. I just won't. I'd rather give you away than you be stuck in my wardrobe with nobody wearing you, so. Very long and flowy. Really like this. Really warm and cozy for winter does anyone remember the shop international i don't know if that was just in scotland or england i don't really know um but i used to love it it used to be like my favorite shop ever and then it closed down um but yeah i've still got this jumper again must be like 10 years old or something crazy but i still really like it that's the thing i don't see the point in getting rid of clothes if that you still really like them and would still wear them obviously is that obvious <laughs> Yeah, I just really like it. It's a staple, isn't it? Staple, beige colour. I love beige jumpers. Oh, actually, I should probably mention, I have a hell of a lot of gym wear, but I'm not going to go through all of that today. I keep that in separate little boxes, um, like, you know, plastic tubs. Tubs? 
you guys know what I mean so yeah that's like a whole nother story um, and I have actually recently gone through all of that anyway so I won't be doing gym wear but obviously this is a jumper which I absolutely love um, love its bit so yeah keeping you here we have a hoodie that I got when I went to London for the first time I used to love this to be honest I still do it's quite grubby the lettering is kind of coming off but it's just really oversized which I love in a hoodie like you know when you just again for the gym or walk I just shove this on bun in my hair looking gross but it works so I kind of want to keep this but that's kind of grubby isn't it hmm no, I've got to keep it. I've got to keep it. And you guys are going to judge me, but you know, some things you just love and they don't have to be lovely. They can be grubby and you still love them. <laughs> also got this jumper last year. Um, and I've got to be honest, I've not really worn it. I didn't really wear it last year either. Um, but I do think I could wear it more this year. I think it's a bit too small for me. Like, I would have preferred a bigger size. Yeah, I got a size small. And I think I would have preferred it if it was, like, oversized. So I've not worn it much. But I do really like it. I'm just so sad I didn't get a bigger size. But um, I still like it. And I still... I'm definitely gonna make it my mission to wear it this year. I don't know if any of you guys, like, if it was where you are, if it was a trend. But it was a trend literally, like... 10 years ago or something it was like a trend to wear these like kind of your boyfriend's hoodie hoodies <laughs> and yeah that was one of them um but it's really grubby now and you know when it goes all bobbly i mean 10 years on hun what do you expect hmm what do i think about this one i actually think you know this like dressed well with like leather leggings some boots hair like i don't know hair obviously but you know what i mean like hair done I don't know, I think it could be nice. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you. Okay, and now we just need to put in my other jumpers that didn't fit in there before. So these are all ones I want to keep, I think. We've got my Let's Franz. It's not Let's Franz, it's Let's Eats Franz. Eats Franz. Does anybody know what that brand is? I know it's Urban Outfitters, obviously, but what's the brand? Eats Franz? Love this, absolutely love it. And actually, I think you need to go in the wash. Pretty little thing, love this jumper. How, that's the back of it, but how cool, the front of it's just plain, but how cool is this jumper? I mean, maybe you don't think it is, but I think it is. <laughs> I love a graphic jumper, especially at the back, I just think that's a bit different. We have this jumper that I found in H&M last year, and honestly I love it. I love like this zip and high neck. Champion jumper. Again, I wish I got this a bit bigger than I did. It's quite small, I would have liked it more oversized, but you know past me just didn't quite understand how much better an oversized hoodie was nothing special but it's just nice to chuck on so keeping you and then what's this oh it's another christmas one how could i forget this is my favorite christmas one it just says elfie on it hashtag elfie i don't know i just i like it okay so now we've done the jumpers we're gonna move on to the top of this bit which is my trousers um yeah there's definitely going to be some things in here that no longer fits me or something sorry keep taking you on and off my tripod um yeah there's definitely going to be bits that don't fit me or i just won't wear i think in here so let's get them out okay so i've just gone and put in all the trousers back into my wardrobe and this is pretty much all the trousers i own now um, which I don't think is that much to be honest. So we've got my two pairs of walking trousers. I know silly extreme I just couldn't get rid of them Two pairs of leather leggings Definitely gonna get more of them soon. Don't you worry and then we've got literally <sighs> a lot of jeans so paper bag skinny these three here are mom jeans. I also have some straight leg jeans that are in the wash at the moment um, and then We've got my cargo and my more formal trousers there. So yeah, I don't actually have that many trousers and I do actually feel like I need to get more. <laughs> and then now my jumpers. I don't know if I showed you this before, but yeah, I mean, it still looks like a bit of a mess, doesn't it? I think it's time to tackle this part of my wardrobe, which is an absolute shambles. I should probably address this situation. This is where I keep my shoes and bags at the moment. <laughs> This is just not, 
not pretty is it i'm not going to be sorting my shoes and bags today because that's just too much for me to handle it's just not gonna happen another day <laughs> so we're gonna stand for this one <laughs> pretty little thing dress this is from the little mixes collection and i had this on my youtube video and i kept it because i loved it so much and i've not worn it this year i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna have a party i mean a social distanced not even social distance just a party with my family and i'm gonna wear this because how gorgeous oh come on this is gorgeous okay this is just annoying i have so many hangers in here that aren't even being used and it's just not helping the problem mm. this is a dress that i got from urban outfitters a couple of years ago really basic bodycon dress i'm gonna keep it don't know where i'm gonna wear it don't know where or when but it's nice and i just know that i'll be able to at some point a h&m dress casual one I like this. I honestly think this is an old school skirt. Like, I'm never going to wear this. So that is a straight. Just, I'm not going to wear that, am I? Love this blazer so much. I just absolutely love it. There's no way that is going anywhere. Here's an O'Poly dress that I haven't worn yet. I do really like it. If I go on holiday, if and when I go on holiday, I'm definitely going to wear this. How gorgeous is that colour? Love it so much. So yeah, can't wait to wear that one day i shall wear it will i wear this that's the question will you wear this i don't know you know i think i could if i had like a special occasion this with like a black crop top like a bandeau or something i think that could be quite quite an outfit what do we think here's a top shop dress that i got six seven years ago now um I don't know if this fits me and to be honest um, do i need to try it on i don't know if i'll ever wear this will i do you know what guys i do actually really like this and it fits me like i think it even fits me better than it did six years ago please excuse the state of the room at the moment but i love this i reckon i would wear this on holiday which is where i wore it try your clothes on before you get rid of them <laughs> denim dress I do actually really like this, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. This is the dress that I bought for prom and then ended up not wearing for prom because I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've never worn it. And I just don't know when I ever would wear it. A long prom dress, like complete sequins. Will I ever wear this? Like if I go to like a ball or something? Or is that just ridiculous? I just don't want to get, I don't, I don't know what to do about that. So, okay, here we have two things on the same hanger. Firstly, this is a dress that I wore to my, a dance at school. And I'm just never gonna wear this, am I? Quite cute, especially for like a school dance or something, but I'm just never gonna wear it, so yeah that one needs to go and then here we have a jumpsuit which i actually think this is quite nice you know kind of forgot i had this got this years ago um honestly i was about 16 or something but i actually think this is nice yeah jumpsuit with like a tie at the back um i really like that i mean it's not like i'm gonna wear it soon is it here is a dress that i bought to my education ball really like this actually yeah i don't need that other one do i because i would just wear this or my actual the dress that i did wear to prom both of these are lipsy actually um yeah this was my prom dress for school and then i wore this as a uni ball so yeah love both of these they're super pretty i feel i have to keep them because if i go to like you know a ball or like a fancy occasion i would wear these again i don't is that bad? I don't know. I just think wearing a dress only once is a shame. And I would be with completely different people who wouldn't know. Although all of you know right now. So, oh well. This dress was my third year dance dress at school. Super cute, but I'm just not going to wear it. Very flowy. Yeah, I just don't know when I would wear it. I just did not hang <laughs> <gasps> kind of reminds me of like dancing or something yeah i'm just not gonna just not gonna wear it so i need to get rid of that be brutal so this is a halter neck jumpsuit is that what it's called with like the bit around your neck i think so is that a halter neck i don't know i'm crushing myself but yeah it's got like this mesh at the front and then it just 
is a plain black jumpsuit and I actually think this is quite cool you know got this years ago haven't got that much wear out of it but I think now like that's the sort of thing that I would wear now a few years ago it was kind of out of my comfort zone but yeah I think that's quite cute I'm gonna keep that because I think super cute guys please let me know in the comments what how you think I'm doing and if you think I'm just hoarding things or not I'm never gonna wear this let's be honest I'm just not gonna it's not my style anymore and a dress from Miss Selfridge again honestly guys Miss Selfridge was my place to be and my place to shop when I was at uni for night out dresses um but yeah I just don't think it's plain black I just don't think I'm gonna wear this so this one is a new look dress I'm never gonna wear this I just know I'm not it's like got sleeves um and it's just sparkly that um other pretty little thing sparkly dress that i had showed you before was far nicer um and then this is another pretty little thing dress that i actually really like so it's just those like quite classic pretty little thing dresses with like the little slit at the side yeah i really like that i went through a phase of really liking big slogan slogans S slogos <laughs> slogans on my jumpers um, so yeah, dare to be different and I'm all about that kind of vibe. But I don't know if I'd want it on my jumper. Yeah, I just don't think I would. I don't think I'd go out with that on my jumper. Not because, I don't know, it's just not really my style anymore. So was another jumper. Um, this one's got like little metal bits <laughs> on the shoulders. I used to really like this, but I just don't really think it's in fashion or my vibe anymore. How many times have I said vibe in the last 20 minutes? Um, yeah, we're gonna have to give you up, I'm afraid. I used to really like this top, but again, not really feeling it. I don't think I'll wear it, so we're gonna get rid. Next top, just never gonna wear it, let's be honest. This has a tag on it, which is not great, um, but in fairness, I did get it for teaching and then I left teaching, so <laughs> I never really got the opportunity to wear it and I'm just never going to. It is, as I said like before, it's quite like a teacher vibe or if you're in like an office job or something, but I just don't get the opportunity to wear dresses like that, so it's got the tag on it and it's just perfect condition, so it's a shame. But yeah, I just won't wear it and there's no point in it sitting in my wardrobe for another three years. This is a dress that my dad got me in the outfit challenge video. Um, to be fair, I actually like wearing this with like um, tights and boots in the winter. I actually think it's quite cute. Got little pockets on the front. It definitely looks nicer on. Um, yeah, it's cute with boots and tights. So we're going to keep... Oh, this is like... A little thing where you put all your jewelry like your necklaces and honestly i've not even looked at this for like two years so i really doubt i actually want any of this jewelry do you know when like long necklaces were a fashion sorry i'm like i just realized i'm like speaking with my head half off the camera and i don't know if that was just me maybe they weren't in fashion um but yeah it's just not really a thing anymore so i think i can literally get rid of every single one of these necklaces they're just not really I mean, I don't wear them, so. Zara dress, love that, definitely thing. Another Zara dress, which I've recently got, just a nice long bodycon, love that. And then this is like a top that I got ages ago, um, like ages ago, years and years. And yeah, just not gonna wear it. It's not really my thing anymore. I have just got back from having my tea. I've been doing this for hours now. It's pitch black outside and yeah, I got super hungry. So I went to have my tea. But what I did do before I went is just put in all the stuff I decided to keep back in my wardrobe. So it's definitely looking a lot less cramped. Although I have realized it's literally just dresses. So yeah, this is where I keep my dresses now um, and my blazers. This is it all finished. Obviously forgetting the bottom part. That will be done at a later date, but I'm super happy that it's just, I know that the stuff that's in here is actually stuff that I like now. So that's a lot, you know, it's refreshing. I feel a little bit more like I've got my life together. All that's left to do now is this big box of stuff 
that I need to fit into my drawers. Most of this is tops um, and there'll be a few other little things in there just to sort through. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm aware this video is probably super long already. So yeah, I'll probably fit in a time lapse or something. Um, yeah, let's do this. So in the top drawer is my joggers. I don't really have to do anything with this because there is only four pairs in here. There's a few more pairs downstairs in the wash, but they're all fine. They're all things that I like and wear. And this one, it, as you can see, this is the one that's going to be a bit more of something to sort. That's my short and skirt drawer done. These are all my denim shorts here and then we've got a couple more paper bag ones there. We've got some kind of dressier shorts here and then these are my skirts. These are the ones I decided to get rid of. So these are just like a very old pair, pair, pale, pair, pair, I can't speak, I can't speak, I'm going crazy. Guys, I've been doing this all way too long. <laughs> They're a pair of very old denim shorts, as you can see. I don't even know where these are from. Um, I think like New Look or something, but they're super old and I've just got nicer ones. Same with these ones. This is a skirt that just isn't really me anymore. And as you can see, it's quite gone quite bobbly and things. So yeah, that's to go as well. And then again, just a very old kind of, not very nice, I suppose, pair of denim shorts as well. Not very good quality either. So yeah, don't need them anymore. Um, but yeah, not getting rid of that many shorts. I'm getting a bit delirious, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it's fine. Right, let's carry on. So, as you can see, it's very full, this one. And I do have a big box of stuff here, which a lot of them is top. So, I'm just gonna get cracking. See you on the other side. <laughs> Will I ever wear this? I used to think it was quite cool and funky, but I don't know. I do like that it's got a low back on it. Do you know what? This with denim, je denim jeans, well, denim jeans or denim shorts in the summer, I actually think I will wear that. So I'm going to keep it. But this, I don't know if I will wear. No, I won't. No, I won't. No. Now this, can you guys imagine me wearing this? Because, <laughs> nah, saws mate, you're gonna have to go. More dresses to go away at my newly organized dress wardrobe. <laughs> um, how stunning is this dress? I mean, you can't really see it that well and it's a little bit creased, whoops. Some more jumpers as well. So just to quickly show you what I did with my tops, these are my bandeau sort of tops, so really small little tops. These are body suits, then we have t-shirts, and then this is like crop tops and bits here. Doesn't look very neat though, does it? <laughs> Someone please tell me how to make my tops look neat. And then in this drawer, see, still too much. <laughs> this is kind of t-shirts, like, yeah, let's just go with that. Nicer t-shirts, let's say. Um, little kind of going out tops going out dressy tops but like bigger ones <gasps> and then just more random tops there yeah why does this still not look neat i don't know what i'm doing guys i need help but honestly i think that's me done i think that is me done <sighs> so I think that is me completely done, my little wardrobe declutter. I really hope you enjoyed this. I honestly don't even have a clue what this video is going to be like, as I said at the beginning. Still don't know how it's going to turn out. I think I've got way too much footage, but we'll see. I am so tired, I'm not going to lie, but honestly, I feel so much better. Guys, go clear out your wardrobe. Like, my mind just feels like... It feels like I've decluttered my mind at the same time. And I am boiling. <laughs> That is tiring work. I need to turn my radiator down. It's gonna be so much easier for me to find things now. Biggest bane of my life is trying to find clothes and I end up making my room so messy trying to find an item of clothing. But now, I know where everything is. 
and I know that everything I want is in my wardrobes and my drawers so yeah that makes me so happy really hope you enjoyed the video a bit of a different one um but yeah I thought I'd just give you a little insight into my organized life all I need to do now is sort through all of this stuff so this is all the stuff that I am giving to charity and selling on depop and also check out all of the hangers that are spare now i mean there was a lot of hangers just spare floating around in my wardrobe anyway really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i shall see you in the next one <laughs>